What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck are we doing? Garbage. You're welcome, by the way. This is so that you don't have to. <laughs> We've got a lineup of five different non-alcoholic brews, and we're going to check them all out tonight. Yep. And these would be great if, I mean, if you're, if you're the designated driver and you still want to have a few beers, yep. then this would work okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Yes. Well, I am the Mighty Plantain, and with me this time for this punishing and ridiculous video is Boosh. It was kind of, I can't remember if it was my brainchild, your brainchild, or if it was just... It a, was a combination of both, combination I think. I two. mentioned it, and you would, you would mention that you were thinking about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> about it, too, so... So, one way or the other. And uh, if this goes over well, we may do another video. Uh, because we are missing, actually, two more. We are missing two more, and we can also do comparisons of these brews with an equivalent alcoholic brew. We've got plenty of these left over because Ding Dong over here didn't realize that the local store might object to you breaking up a six-pack, but they can't stop you from doing it. Yeah, so, but, um, but still, we'll, we'll still... Yeah. Yeah, it so was only got, a six pack, so it don't matter. We're gonna use two are, right now. There are there another are two later on. Fifty more near beers sitting on my floor right now, taking up space, and the wife is pissed. Near beer? What do you mean fifty? Wait, hang on. Yeah, there's ten here, which means that's one sixth of. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, non-alcoholic beer, and I'm already too drunk to count. <laughs> I haven't even touched any of these yet. No, By no. the way, every single one of these uh, contains less than 0.5%, so there is some alcohol in there by volume. Yep. And we're going to kick things off with the Klost Holler. <laughs> Shit. I, didn't. I assumed these would all be twist tops. Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to get a bottle opener. Go ahead. By the way, I am going to go ahead and save the bottle caps from these. Uh, the wife's got some craft project in mind. She wants me to save all the unique bottle caps. I, I'm on the border here. I, I, on the one hand, I want credit for having drank them. On the other hand, I'm not sure I want them displayed on any kind of, like, tabletop or whatever the hell she's planning on shellacking them into. So. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. To do that stuff. I will probably hang on to them just to have some record of this shameful event. Oh, we do have this record. Yeah, we have the video. the video. We are also doing these beers the honor of putting them in a Sam Adams glass. I don't know, we're disgracing Sam Adams by putting them in. I know. We'll we'll smash and burn the glasses later. No, I'm just kidding. They actually cost money. I can't afford to replace them. Um, but the only reason we are doing this is so that you can get a good look at these bad boys and see exactly what we're looking at. So, Klaus Taller. Um, equivalent alcoholic beer. I'm not sure. You know what it almost smells like is a Heineken. U.S. imported. Radeberger Group. USA. Norwalk, Connecticut. Um, it's not associated on the label with a... With a specific brewery. Yeah. Hmm. Fairly Maybe effervescent. A, yeah. Effervescent. Yeah. However you want to say it. Maybe there's a Klostaller, but it's, it's German beer. But yeah, very, very clear, very, very light, pretty effervescent, lots of bubbles coming up from there. It almost, almost smells like Heineken. Well, I think you're right. And yeah, if you actually look at the bottle, I mean, it's green, yes. and it's almost the same, the same shape. Very similar. And it, they, they were both German brews, so. Yeah. You're probably right there. Could be a Heineken equivalent, but probably won't be as good. Holy shit, that's actually a little sweet. And I think that actually comes from not having the alcohol in it. It's like a watery, sweet, almost beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like near beer. <laughs> grain soup. Actually, it's... For a non-alcoholic, it ain't bad. I mean... It's not horrible. You're certainly not going to get drunk off it, but... No, you're not going to get drunk. You're not even... I mean... It's not horrible, but there's not... I mean, it does taste like beer. A little bit. 
just doesn't have a lot of that bitterness to it like you would think that like you would get from a beer anyway that sweetness is throwing me off yeah it does it's it's just a really light sweet it's almost like a unbaked bread mm. kind of doughy in the finish yeah a bit doughy bit yeasty I doubt it's yeasty, yeah. though. It must be just picking up on the grains. Because yeah. there's no way... I don't think they even used yeast in non-alcoholic brew because that's how you get the alcohol. Right. <clears throat> Ooh, pardon me. But it's got to be at least partially fermented somehow. Unless they just carbonate it like a soda. And maybe that's where the sweetness is coming from is because they have to actually sweeten it up. And well, have some probably, sugars in there. They probably it. just use carbonated water and put the, mm. put the flavorings in. Mm-hmm. I did notice that a good number of these are reported as a malt beverage. So. Yeah. All right. I well. think that would classify them as a malt beverage without the, without that stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. No, I think you're right. You're right. Hmm. So, um, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not beer. No. It's mildly beer flavored yeah, yeah mildly beer i mean i so are we are we gonna rate these on the regular beer i think what we'll do is we'll uh we're gonna cleanse with water in between each one and when we're done maybe just rank these one to five on preference versus giving them an actual numerical because honestly i'm gonna put them all at a zero because they're they're not beer right <laughs> they're supposed to taste like beer though. Yes. that's the only thing and, if this and that's is any... the one of the reasons why we're doing this is to actually see how close they do come to beer to, to the beer flavor. And yeah. really, I don't know. If this is any indication, they're all going to be zeros in terms of beer ratings. So yeah. we're not off to a great start. But it's, you know, as an alternative to water, it's fine. Yep. But. And as an alternative to alcohol, it's fine as well. But. Eh. But the Who water wants to do is that? free. Who wants to do that? Exactly. All right, let's finish these bad boys up and move on to number two. We'll go with the O'Douls. All stools. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with the regular O'Douls first. Uh, of course, the Budweiser equivalent put out by Budweiser. Also listed as a premium malt beverage, and they're an official sponsor of the PGA Tour. Mm. Look at that. Premium beer. Extra smooth. Premium old stools. I mean old duels. Premium pussy beer. Ah, a little twist top. Sponsoring a premium pussy sporting event. Now, uh, only one of us has ever had an old duels before in a bar. Only because somebody actually bought it for me. <laughs> and there's picture evidence to prove this. I'll try to insert a still image. But if you ever want to piss one of your friends off, order them no duels. Tell them you bought them a beer and wait till the bartender brings it over. It doesn't go over well. Sometimes. Sometimes. If Boosh had been drunk, there might have been a more uh, negative reaction. But uh, it was that a good wasn't. sport about that it. That was my first drink yeah. that night. Although, on the, on the other hand, if you send him a Shirley Temple, that turns out a little differently. He gets his balls up and he has to prove something, so he winds up chugging way too many beers. Anyway. <clears throat> no, I wind up chugging way too many Shirley Temples. <laughs> this is actually even lighter than that Klostaller, so maybe I should have put the O'Douls first. I almost did, but this looked like it's a lighter not beer. too, too bad. It's not... Really, and really the darkness and stuff really don't matter except for that. No. But I, I think they're all going to be pretty much somewhat translucent. Yeah. And there's not much... This actually has less effervescence than the last one. There's fewer yep. bubbles coming up through. Yep. <clears throat> and it's actually not a bad looking beer. It smells okay. It doesn't yeah. smell like the other one. It doesn't smell like the... Uh, doesn't even smell like Budweiser, which is what it's close to. I'm almost getting like a crisp um, spring rain smell out of it. Like yeah. watery, basically. Yeah. yeah. Has that dampness to it. Yeah. 
but no actual, like you said, no actual beer aroma. Yep. Hmm. Well, we'll see what it tastes yeah. like. See, now this tastes more like a beer. It has. It doesn't have that sweetness that the Klosterner did. Yeah. It's um. It's got. Yeah, just more of a general watered down beer flavor. Yeah. You ever been to uh, almost one of those? almost oh. tastes like really Bud Light without the alcohol? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You ever been to one of those tourist attractions like uh, Arabian Nights or the whatever the Round Table one is, Medieval Times and all that shit? No. Well, you pay a price for your plate and your meal, and they come out and they bring the courses like the old stuff. But yeah. it's, it's unlimited beer or wine. What they and don't tell you. Kind of what they give you. It's unlimited, but yes. it's watered down. Yes, I that's kind of what this tastes like. The, and this does taste like a watered down beer mm. that you would get at Arabian Nights or Medieval Times restaurant. Yeah. Just so they can actually sell more of it. Yeah, it's mildly beer flavored, but it's mostly very watery. As honestly as an alternative to beer, I would rank this above the Claus Dollar. I would too. It doesn't necessarily have more body or um or substance to it, but it is closer in flavor to beer and it doesn't have that sweetness that Claw's taller does. So I'm gonna slide these guys around. I'm gonna put O'Doul's number one right now. Let's we'll see what the others bring. Ooh. I'll line it up as I go along. And well not as of, after I go along. I'll yeah, see. no, no, that's alright. We're gonna do a we'll do a roundup at the end here. But yeah, definitely um It's not bad. It's definitely different. I mean it's the equivalent of a cock tease. Just like mm. the other one, but it is definitely more beer flavored than the Claw Staller. So, all right, um, we'll finish this up, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the. Uh, looks like the Buckler is next. Mm. Unless you got some other comment about the. Nope. We'll okay. do that one next. The watered down pee water that you got there. Oh, it's weasel piss. <laughs> it's weasel piss with fifty percent H two O. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna hit the buckler. Uh, Swash buckler. <laughs> imported from Holland. I have a feeling we'll be swashing it later. Uh, non alcoholic malt beverage. Contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, same as the others. So, premium quality buckler from Holland. I guess I wouldn't know. Enjoy buckler responsibly. 0.5% <laughs> ABV. And we're supposed to enjoy it responsibly. What does that mean? Don't drink the whole fucking keg. You might get a buzz. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, oh, this one is actually distributed by Heineken. Because it says here, it's got all the info. It says questions call 1-888-HEINEKEN. Yeah, and there is a website. So, I don't know about the Kloss Taller. You were thinking that was more akin to Heineken. It, it kind of tasted, it kind of smelled like it. Really. No, and I agree more. with you. But this one, per the label, is directly associated with Heineken. So, one mystery solved there. Well, let yeah, me. Oh. I'll oh. tell you what. I'll tell you what though. What does that remind you of? Reminds me of a big fat bee. Well, yeah, but <laughs> that actually looks like Brooklyn. You know what? The style of it's the It's very close. Does look a that little cap, bit. That cab, the just the B itself. Yeah, you're thinking of the Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn Brewing. Really? I was thinking more like. Yeah. No, Brooklyn Brewing. I guess. That's what so. it actually almost looks like. It, it it's uh, the style is a little bit different, but. Yeah. That's got a bit of a more amber tinge to it. Yeah, than it's the, a little uh, darker. Than the others, it's uh, about as effervescent as the Oduls. Honestly, I I think it's even darker in color than regular Heineken. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while yeah, since I've had a Heineken. I'd say it's actually about the same. About the same? Okay. Like I said, my memory is a little fuzzy. It's been a while since I had Heineken. The last time I had it was the big-ass champagne magnum. Mm. So, uh, um, yeah, I might have had a little too much that night. No, it's it's actually... Uh, one, yeah. 
Yeah. It's a more pleasant looking beer than the others. Hmm. It looks more like a beer, actually. Yeah. It's absolutely clear. I, I doubt any of these are going to have any cloudiness to them. So. You know what I'd like to see them do is actually do a little more hoppy. Something with hops, yeah. Yes. If they were going to do this. But... A non-alcoholic IPA. Mm-hmm. Or a stout. That's an idea. I mean, give it a little bit of a grainy body and then uh, hop it up. Yeah. That would actually fool me into thinking it's a beer more than these more things than, have so far. Right. Well, this one's got a but nice these are still, aroma to it. These are still pretty much the mainstream as far as non-alcoholic goes. Non yeah. I could actually... I could see one, like, brewery <laughs> putting one of these out and, and actually doing something really good with it and, yeah. and having it kick off pretty good there, there's possibilities yes this one has more of a beery aroma to it than the others honestly actually this one has more of a heineken flavor uh, smell yeah just a general graininess coming through nothing nothing too complex or or crazy but not bad i mean that's yeah, pretty good it's more reminiscent of a real beer Flavor-wise, that's actually got slightly more body to it than the others. I'm getting more beery getting aftertaste. Getting, you know what I'm actually getting is more like a, a smoky cigarette kind of flavor in the aftertaste. I can I can see a little bit of smokiness. Um, yeah. It's not quite like licking an ashtray, but it is, it is a little, little reminiscent of of a smoky room. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. Huh. Up front, though, I'm getting a lot of graininess. Yeah. And just this general beer flavor. Um, it's got a little bit more body than the others. It's got slight, a slightly heavier mouthfeel. And just more to it, more substance. That's actually pretty good, too. Mm. Now, if I was at a party and this is all that was available, what would you take? This versus water? Yeah. I'd go with the buckler. Why not, you know? At least have, at least pretend it's beer. I well, mean, it's free. Yeah, exactly. You'd also, um, you know, find it. <laughs> I, well, I'm the asshole who'd sit there with the whole case and try and see if I could actually catch a buzz off of it. Or, Ooh, I'd say I, I'd actually go in. I'd go in with it, and I'd I'd try and uh, <laughs> I try and trade beers. All right. Next up is the Odul's Amber. Now, I'm looking forward to this one because it's actually got amber, which means it's probably going to be a little darker and have some more body to it. Let's see how that goes. And these are twist. Wow, that is the easiest twist off I've pulled off in a long time. It is a little dark. Not quite, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's... Yeah. That's actually pretty dark. I'd say it's darker than the buckler. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost got a bit of red to it. Yeah. Um, it's reminiscent to me of a Dos Equis ambar. Because yeah. it's, it's a lightly amber color. Yeah. Without being ridiculously dark it's interesting it's and it's nice really tea. you look at that got a good head on it good head it's there's not a lot of bubbles coming up after the fact so it's slightly effervescent but yeah it was easy to put a good head on it <laughs> shit oh, was that wow. all the first four all coming up at once or three <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> again it's a it's a clear like i said i don't anticipate any of these being cloudy because they're all filtered and right. non-alcoholic in the first place but There's not much coming off of it for an aroma, though. No, mm -hmm. there ain't. There's yeah. not much at all. I'm almost getting like a... You do get a little bit of a toasty, like, bready, which is what we've been getting from all of them, pretty much, but... Yeah, but right up front, like, this, this the spring rain, yeah. that, that just that crisp, watery 
Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing about these is they're really. If, if you get done in the yard and everything, a good cold one of these wouldn't be that big of a deal. No. No. A little more substance than a water bottle. Right. Or yeah. even even it's probably a little bit better for you than a soda. Uh, I'd have to look at the uh, nutritional information on it, but you might be right about that because there's definitely going to be less sugars, I think, in the end. Yeah. Not bad. It's pretty bitter. See, now that tastes more like a... More like a beer that has a little bit of a... Eh, doesn't have a hoppy taste, a hoppy bitterness, but it's it's better than some of the it's better than the other ones as far as the bitterness to Ooh. it. I'm thinking it's more of a roasted bitterness. Yes. Because they probably do use a more roasted malt to get the amber flavor and the amber body. It's definitely got that same body. Yeah. Uh, not same, but a, a slightly lighter body than an amber ale, but it's got more substance to it than these other lighter ones. Right. And this actually I actually put this up on the up at the top. Ooh. I think I need a little bit more of it because I'm I'm in between the buckler in the Dos, Equ er, Dos Equis <laughs> and the Odul's Amber because um, <clears throat> while I like the substance in the body and the general um, beeriness of the amber and the bitterness it's almost a little off-putting to a certain yes. degree because it's, it's like it's too toasty without anything to complement it right whereas the buckler went down a lot smoother but overall, not not bad. Not bad at all, and definitely better than better than these guys. See, it's the deeper I get into it, the more that that toastiness is just sitting with me without anything to offset it, mm -hmm. and it's almost resting on the palate like this thick, oily sheen that isn't right. going anywhere, and right. it's it's getting a little off-putting. <clears throat> Something that I could probably tolerate in a real beer, but in fake beer, it's just not cutting it for me. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the buckler out ahead of the, uh, the Odul's Amber. So. It's going to be close. Yeah. For mine, anyway, the way I, I perceive it. Oh, well, I hear you. But, you know, not a bad alternative to... Not a bad alternative to not get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to do that on a Friday night? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, well let's uh, finish this one up, and then we've got uh, one last one. This is Caliber from the makers of Guinness. So that's promising. We'll see. Yeah. We're back. Last and hopefully not least, we have the Caliber. Service Gold. Part from the brewers of Guinness. Caliber delivers all the great taste of a premium import, fully brewed and fully fermented with less alcohol than beer. Need the opener. Ah, so it is not a twist top. That's points in its favor. I getcha. Is surprisingly light for something produced by Guinness, and with the exception of their, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. excuse me, with the Sorry exception about that. of that, oh, with the exception of their Nitro IPA, um, most of the lighter Guinness products have disappointed me on some level. Mm -hmm. They haven't been, been bad, but like their uh, uh, Blonde Ale didn't impress me. Yeah. Harp Lager is actually not bad, though. But that's that's got a slightly amber color to it as well. Not as dark See, that as looks more. That looks more like a beer. Yeah. It doesn't have the, the same amber color as the Buckler, 
but it's got a little bit of a, an amber hue to it, almost an orangish tint, I guess. There's more bubbles coming up from it. So yeah, you got a better head on yours. Well, that happens once in a while. And I say usually you've got more luck with that, or more success with that than I do. But <laughs> yeah, still clear, not cloudy at all. Yep. It's the sweetness to that too. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Maybe a mild hint. Of, it's it's odd. It's is the reverse of what I'm used to getting from a beer. Usually, I get that nice grainy nose right. to it, and then a little bit of sweetness in the finish. Sometimes, the, these but it's are... different. It's you get that sweetness up front, and then <laughs> then you get that graininess when you taste it. Mm -hmm. It's really different, but yeah. Mm. Wow. That has almost a coffee type. Yeah, maybe a little. I'm getting some sweetness and bitterness. It does have... Actually, what I'm getting is that little bit of... That coffee-ness stout that Guinness is, is famous for, really. Just a, just a little hint. Not a whole... A mouth, yeah, not, not a real, not a. It doesn't hit you right away, but it gives you gives you that little bit of a, of a hint. Yeah, of it. it's not obvious, like you said. It, 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 there, I can see that. There's a little bit of that roasted bitterness. Yes. And combined with the sweetness that we were getting before, in the aroma, that does give it a bit of a, a coffee character. Hmm. Wow, that's actually very good. For me, anyway, that's what I yeah. think. See, I'm, I'm getting like a really watery finish to it, so it's not impressing me as much. But it does have some standout flavor versus some yes. of these others. It's distinguished from them because it's different, but in terms of tasting like a beer, it's not quite there with that watery finish that I'm getting. So all, all in all, I mean, I'm actually surprised that these weren't absolutely horrible. Right, they they do have some Pardon. qualities to them that are actually beer-like, you could say. Yeah. But, like you said, they're not really beer. Exactly. But they're supposed to taste like beer. <laughs> that, and, yeah. really, I don't know. I'm trying know, it's to, not easy. It, it's not, but... They're not really that bad. I mean, some people actually do believe that they're they're nasty, but yeah, really they're really once you try them, you try them, you might like them. I was uh, yeah, I was actually expecting them to be a lot worse than they were. Yeah. Uh, well, I had an idea about it with with the old stools. <laughs> the old but... stools. <laughs> the experienced non-alcoholic drinker here. Right. Yes. And. Yeah. Really, they're not that. They're not that bad. No, I mean I'm gonna crap on them all day long, whatever. Any anyway. chance because they are not beer, and they pretend to be beer, and they are not what I want when I want to drink. But man, I, I was surprised by how not disappointed I am in them in terms of flavor. But I think I've got mine all set here. I mean, I've got the Buckler rated number one. I did prefer that over all the others. The Dos Equis Amber is like my number two. Or Dos Equis. I keep going back to Dos Equis. Because I'm regular, the, the used Oduls. to the regular in the, in the Amber for Dos Equis. But yes, the Oduls Amber. And then yep. the Caliber is a little bit of a standout. And then these guys, uh, not so much. And I pretty much just switched. Yeah. Yeah. Caliber and Buckler, uh, Caliber and uh, O'Doul's, O'Doul's yeah. Amber. So pretty similar so, lineup. Otherwise than that, they're pretty good. Not too bad. I mean, they're yeah. better than we expected. A absolutely, I will admit that. But um, and now for those of you who really you want to actually experience the beer flavor, but don't want the alcohol and don't want the hangovers in the de during the in the morning. <laughs> Unless you drink a whole lot of these and get dehydrated, because that can still right. happen even without the alcohol. Right. But, yeah. 
or actually with with the amount of water in there, you probably drown in it. Well, good point. Because you, <laughs> because you can drink too much water and and wind up overhydrated. Right. Yes. I saw that so. years ago. Yeah, and otherwise than that, they're, they're really not that bad. Yeah. And we actually, like we said, we still have two that we never really, we couldn't get. Well, I'm looking forward I to I couldn't get. get. Yeah, well, we'll get to one eventually. But they were... Uh, St. Pauli Girl. St. Pauli Girl and Coors actually did one. Coors had one, yeah. I'm looking forward to get my hands on the St. Pauli Girl, honestly, after this experience, because, you know, the St. Pauli Girl used to be a nice little treat back yep. in the day. Yep. <laughs> but... And they're still actually pretty good. The yeah. St. Pauli girl is really good, actually. But. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, that's just a pair of opinions on these. Hit us up down in the comments, the email link down below. Yep. Let us know what you have to say. If you've checked them out, whether you agree, disagree, if you get a different line. You know, let's see what's going on. We're more than happy to discuss them with you. Unfortunately, no matter how fucking happy and smiley and neutral I am... The liver is angry, man. <laughs> the liver is fucking angry. It yep. does not like this whole cock tease of an ep exercise that we got going on here. And it demands satisfaction. So, in an attempt to clean my manlyhood in this bag. Whipping out the Julian glasses. Oh boy. Because I gotta get my balls up. And actually, we gotta watch that. Yes, we'll hit season 12. We're going to hit the Shackleton's Expedition Whiskey. Ooh. Didn't we have this before? No. This is very special. You may have seen the documentary about it. Um, and no, okay, I'm not turning into a woman. My kid needed a cork for a science project. That's the only reason this wine savored feminine thing is on here. Well, we have had wine too, but... Yes. And no. I take it you've already tried some of that. Oh, you? hell yes. <laughs> That's why there's half a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, oh, shit, did I pour you an even amount? That's all right. Close enough. I don't need that much. The, um, the Shackleton Expedition Whiskey, basically the, it was from um, Ernest. Ernest Shackleton's Expedition to the Antarctic. He had a special blend of Scotch whiskey made for that expedition. Yeah. And they left some of them in the Antarctic, and a later expedition recovered some of those bottles from the ice and snow at the uh, research station. And they recreated the formulation by doing a chemical analysis and having the nose taste it and um, put together some bottles that he felt, or barrels that he felt would uh, recreate the blend. So. Mm -hmm. Lots of history to this thing. There's like a whole hour long um, documentary about it. Mm. Antique blend. Mm -hmm. But it is definitely. When you wind up finding it? Damon's and Augusta. Really? I thought it was never going to show up around here. Oh, that smells good. And that if it did, it would be prohibitively expensive based on the history behind the stuff. So when I came around the corner at Damon's and I found it, I was very pleasantly surprised. This is under 40 bucks a bottle, and it is totally worth it. It's a Highlands malt. Oh, yeah, you can tell that. But it is one of the most pleasant Highlands that is malts a I've very, ever had. That is a very smooth, smooth whiskey. It's fucking delicious. Wow. And a couple of glasses of this will make up for all the beers I didn't get a time to drink tonight. <laughs> so that is very good exactly I knew you'd like it <laughs> that's the end of that folks Ooh. we're going to get so, down to the serious business of actually getting drunk now yeah <laughs> that's Until right next time thanks for tuning in cheers keep drinking Ooh.